yeah, if you if you get a time, uh, if you if you have time before dinner, um, maybe you could you could hop on Google real quick and uh, I mean it's no big deal. It's just you know if you, if you get a chance, I mean you know don't don't stress out over it, and and put in a search for uh, uh, defense attorneys, um, maybe uh, OJ's people if they're still around. I'm, no, I'm not I'm not under arrest. Don't I'm just I'm just the leading suspect. Okay, like, all right, okay, bye. To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Um, so they, it kind of, kind of sucked. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of felt like an ass. It's been kind of my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been, kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings. Um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. Most of the cameras are the newest technology. There were some that were as small as a Tic Tac so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is, this is a lot, a lot to hear. I'm just, I didn't, I didn't know about, why am I so, like, out of the loop? Other ones that were a little bit more obvious. Um, like the real world? I'm not familiar with that show, but uh, suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Was there like a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos or what? Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. How would they someone have like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where, where were the cameras? I didn't see any cameras. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. It was just a party. I mean, it wasn't... 400 situated throughout the house. That's... Why so? That's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. We're still trying to piece together exactly why. Like I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. Why, why, the, why the cameras? Those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork and um, a beautiful house like that, uh, obviously whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment quite a bit. This is weird, I mean, I didn't... Was Mr. Ascot drinking a beer or uh, a, a glass of wine? He had, you know, like a, like a tall, fancy wine glass, pinky out most, most of the evening. Um, she, she was, like, real freaked out, you know, about becoming an adult. Because it's a big step. It's kind of like the, the death of being a... You're not a kid anymore. We're, we're adults. And she was having a really hard time. She was just kind of freaking out. And along with the mushrooms, it was just kind of some weird combination. It's crazy. How do you know she had mushrooms? What she told us. You know, we were hanging out, and she's like, yeah, I got some, so I got some shrooms. Did she offer you the mushrooms? She didn't offer me the mushrooms. She knows I'm not a, I'm not a mushroom guy. Yeah. Was anybody else taking the mushrooms with her? Yes. And... Um, on the mushrooms? I think, I think maybe her, her future self was on the mushrooms too. And they were like, <laughs> tripping together. <laughs> so she's on the mushrooms, and she's babbling on about, uh, 2012 or Y2K or whatever it is that she was Two, all upset. 2012. Because you never want to do it alone. Alright, same difference. Was anybody else there? Uh, getting upset. Yeah, there was this girl, this black girl. She was the girlfriend of the, of the rocker's uh, assistant, or not assistant, but like mentor. Um, she, dude, she was like a total bitch on wheels. Man, and I never knew what that meant until I met her. Think about like the bitchiest girl you've ever met times like two. What did she do that was so bitchy? just like angry at everyone and everything. You know, they say that, that girls are, most girls are on the rag five days out of the month. She was like 30 days out of the month on the rag 
PMS all the time. P PMS, permanent PMS, total bitch. A lot of the finger, like black girls do that. And um, they were going at it too. Well, she's valedictorian, like super duper smart. You are the weakest link. Goodbye, type type lady. She's just fine with everybody. Just like every, she has beef with you know the whole party. Every single girl. Yeah, friend of me. Yeah. They travel in the same circles, but they don't like each other. Maybe that's, that makes a lot of sense right there. Okay, so this girl that was uh, carrying on and being difficult, did, did she get into any physical confrontations with any of the other girls there that you saw? Um, did this girl get into any fights with any of the other girls at the party? guy with like the like the, the scarf around with like what like Fred from Scooby Doo what are you talking about no not not kind of like Fred from it's like like a if Fred from Scooby Doo had a makeover like what do you call it As, ascot I thought it looked pretty stupid to be honest I told him I liked it but I, that was just me being polite he was he was there well he helped me with he talked to me about my girlfriend after she she dumped me you're saying you and he were getting along well. Not, not well. You know, he was kind of a dick, actually. He was kind of, like, if he invited me over for dinner, I don't think I'd, I'd come up with an excuse or something. Kind of, like, whiny about everything. And, um, you know, like, depressed. I mean, he didn't have anything to be a depressed about. He was kind of a dick, really. I mean, I don't, I don't really care for him. I guess a little bit of a douchebag. He kind of helped me through. I didn't really have anyone else, and he was kind of, kind of a shoulder to, you know, an ascot to cry on. I this guy in the ass guy, did you tell you his name? No, we talked. I can tell you that he won't be inviting you over to dinner. He ended up hanging himself that evening. He hung himself? That's right, with the ass guy. That's crazy. Apparently he uh, is a member of the, the Rockefeller clan. You know, proved that they could uh, be a success without all the perks and uh, responsibilities and, and handouts that come with being a Rockefeller. Um, what the, what the fuck? Man, he killed himself? I like, just talked to him. The ass, the stupid ascot. The ugly, the silly Scooby-Doo ascot. Um, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem stupid anymore. He had changed his name in order to... Uh, How did he do it? Um, he went into the bathroom. He tied his ascot around the metal shower curtain. He hung, he hung himself. Uh, truth or dare, Craig? The truth. Would you marry, would you marry Angie? Would I marry Angie? God, man, what, what kind of question is that? I think, I think, um, like the real, the real question, um, like the real question, you should, like you should be asking, is is, is um what? like would would she marry me? Like, you want to do Angie, you're oh you're beautiful. The last four years have been freaking Stop. the best, the best four years of my life. Stop. Um, will you marry me? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I kept the receipt, like if you want to like return it, like if it doesn't, if it doesn't fit. Oh, like, okay. If, if your fingers grow <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it actually Yeah. Works, okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, wow. Oh, look wow. at the diamonds and the ring thingy. And the... 
Like, should... The ring thingy, man. Oh, yeah. The ring thingy. Happy for you guys. Thank yeah. you. Congrats, Ian. We're, we're gonna be like, we're, we're gonna do wonderful things together. <laughs> we're gonna be like, like a powerful, like Dolce and Gabbana, or like, <laughs> like Popeye and olive oil. You know, Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> Craig and Angie. Cheers. Craig and Angie. Cheers. 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 Congrats, Ian. Thanks. Yeah, you know, I just figured like, what, like, what better time? We're becoming adults. And I've got to do something grown up, you know. I thought maybe I could grow a beard, a goatee or something, but then I thought, you know, I don't look good with a beard. I thought I'd just marry you instead. Thanks. <laughs> a thousand bucks, it'll make it a Christmas. But what do you think? Give me. Just I want to. I want to hear what you think. So you're telling me that she accepted your proposal, then rejected yeah. you. You know, I took a shot and it didn't work out. That's life, man. You get back on the horse. Fucking sea biscuit. I'm gonna. I'm. And you I'm... looked like a fool. And then made out with another guy and you caught her. She made a joke out of you. Shit, man. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Be happy for her. There's nothing you can do. That's that's like that's what she, that's what she wants. Kissing strange strange men with nice blue shirts. Where, where, like, where do you even get a shirt like that? I hate all my clothes. She yeah. broke oh, your yeah. heart and, and you're over it? Yeah, you know, like when you think about it, I like, think I'd be like, you know, a mess right now, but... You know, I love her though, she's great, like, you know. This is what she, I don't want her to do with me if she's miserable. I hope we'll be friends forever. Yeah. We can still talk on the phone and have coffee. You? Have brunch. So, you know, she could really make, she knows her way around, you know, she's omelet. <laughs> you're, you're an idiot. I think of all the stupid fucking people I've met tonight, you're by far the stupidest. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You said I'm, I'm the stupidest, what, like, what? Um, you're a fucker. Do you not see yourself? I mean... She, in front of everyone, accepted your proposal, and then rejects you, and then makes out of it with another guy at this party. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess I, I guess I am stupid. Are you not? No, you're stupid. Your scarf is stupid. I'm the smartest. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm I'm not a I'm a winner, you know. Stupid shit happens to stupid people, and try to be like this sophisticated. You know, sexy guy with your fancy boots, your fancy jackets, all fancy. You know, sexy guy. But you you do stupid things. You seem like you have stupid moments. Anything recently that you could think of maybe make me feel a little better? I mean... <laughs> you're, you're a stupid little man. I'm not the only stupid one in this room.